show is an extravaganza of guns you will see inside my funhouse. Oh, I hope you had a good day. Look at the funhouse today. It looks great, doesn't it? In the mood for a top show. If you still have problems after all these years working out which one of my twins is which, this should clear it up. Say hello to Boris and Andre. <laughs> There we are, that's sorted then, but more importantly, you better welcome our players. Come on down! <laughs> you still get that, don't you, after all these years? Yes, but which one am I, Boris or Andre? I don't know, you should know that. <laughs> we'll work it out. Who have you got? OK, this is Dina and Oscar from Lytham St Anne's, and they both attend the Lytham St Anne's High School! <laughs> yeah! Oh, she's been so nervous about doing that one all afternoon. How do I go little to man's place? Okay, Mel, have you got an easier one? Yes, I have. Okay. I have William and Natasha, and they're from Livingston, and they attend the James Young High School. Yeah! So there they are. They're almost going down in height today, starting yes. at the top and going ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we have symmetrical children. So good luck to all our players on the fun house today. Yeah! All right, we've got three top games for you, really gungy, as I said. After each game that's worth 25 points, the team that wins will bring you back and give you a chance to answer a question. You get 25 points for that, and you don't have to get messy, which is very good. Then the Fun Cart Grand Prix, also worth 25 points. The winning team, but most importantly, actually, on that, is picking up the um, steering wheels on the way around, isn't it? Because they're yeah. worth 25 points each as well. You can get 100 points from that, plus 25 for winning it. Then the team with the most points gets to go in there and pick up on all the big prizes. Can't wait to get inside. Looking good. <laughs> There's loads of tags and, uh, and things to be done inside the funhouse today. So you'll enjoy yourself if you are the team that gets that far. But for game one, it's for the girls. So yes. should we take them away? Okay. Boys, you get to watch this first game because it really wouldn't suit you. You'll see what I mean now. Because it is tea time and we couldn't think of uh, a better food to play with than fairy cakes. Told you it wouldn't suit you. Just for the girls. Come on. Yeah. OK, then. And just like that, all of a sudden, I've got myself a couple of fairy girls. There they are. Look at that. Marvellous. OK, what are they going to do? They're going to climb. They're going to ascend. They're going to abseil up here. Very, very steep. But you have got those little doorknobs to help you get up there. So you can grab hold of those when the rope pulls you up and down to grab the cakes. Then you must come down here and dip in here. Your cakes, one by one, into the jam. Trouble is, wouldn't be a fairy cake without the icing on the cake, would it? So. Our little Homer Simpson lookalikes, well, more Marge, but sort of Homer in their own way, will drop some icing on you from a great height. This game really is the icing on the cake as far as Gunge is concerned. You have 45 seconds. Nice dancing, girls. Get set. Be a star! Ah! Brilliant. Were they fantastic? They were great, weren't they? Little stars, both of them there. Now we have to see how many little cakes, fairy cakes, they got around their arms. Okay, so who's going to go first? Mel? I will, yeah. Okay, off you go. Okay, we managed to get one, two, three, four, five. Yeah! Okay, Martina, go. Okay, we managed to get one, two, three. Yeah! Red points for starters. Let's rerun the fairy cake fun. He puts the icing on the cake for the Reds. They're ahead. 25 points. <laughs> Let's ask the first question to the girls this afternoon. Are you ready, ladies? Stand by. What traditionally do you do whilst blowing out candles on a birthday cake? <laughs> Reds. Make a wish. Make a wish. You wish for 25 points. You can yeah! So now, yellows have zero. The Reds are ahead with 50 points. Yeah! 
Okay, well done, Natasha. Congratulations. Your nickname is Tasha. And yeah. uh, what do you like to do? What's your favourite thing in the world, your hobbies and stuff? I like to go figure skating. Yes. And cycling and just, like, hanging out with friends. Okay, so that's sort of outdoor stuff. Do you, you got a computer or anything as well? Yeah. Oh, you do do stuff indoors. I was just wondering around the winter. <laughs> what do you do there? And uh, do I say Diana or Dina? Dina. D-E-A-N-A, Dina? -A -A, Dina? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. No nickname, but this is good. Her mum says, Trouble should have been her middle name. Why is that? Well, I'm always getting into mischief with my, my little cousins. Are you? Yeah. Okay. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I would like to be a veterinary nurse. That's good. Looking after animals. Super. Okay. Do you want to take the boys away, girls? Yeah. Because uh, they're in the next game. The girls have got quite dirty enough today. And uh, even though you've still got the third game to come, what are you, honey? Uh, let's see what happens now down at the foam pit because these boys, it's going to be very dark this game because we're off to the graveyard. They're going to be rattling robbers looking for bones. Oh, yes! <laughs> Out here in the ghastly, ghoulish graveyard, I'm preparing myself to be an undertaker. But I've got the real thing here, so I don't need to prepare that well. Look at you, you look fantastic. Uh, you look a bit, a little bit evil, which is good for this game, because you will need to prove that you are the undertaker who can be the overtaker and overtake the other team to collect the most bones. Because I'll make no bones about this. It's a tricky game, and it'll be up to you to collect these. They're over there on the other side of the crypt. You grab one by one. You can use the rope over the foam pit if you want and place them in your coffin, respective colors. Red and yellow each side, then through the crypt, into the gunge, and back again. Remember, there are grave circumstances for the losers. On your marks, get go! Hats off to both teams. But the bone of contention is, how many bones did they get? Reds, you're first. Okay, we got one, two! Yay! You're very nice there, Mel, surrounded by cobwebs. Martina? Okay, we managed to get two! Yay! And I managed to get two, so everybody's happy. Rerun the bone fun! Rattling robbers earn themselves 25 pints apiece. Well up. Yeah! Okay, boys, this is your question. You look very smart in your funhouse toweling outfits. Ready for the gentleman's club. Good luck. <laughs> what does a vampire drink? <coughs> Reds. Blood. Blood is right. Well done, Reds. 25 yeah! points. Yeah! Next one, William Shields. You like swimming, kung fu, and computers? Yeah. And you want to be a what? A marine biologist. Oh, right, okay, a marine biologist. So, uh, would you have to do a lot of training for that, do you think? Or would you just have to sort of spend a lot of time on the beach going, oh, it looks like a nice shell over there? I think I'll do some training for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's going to be right. Oscar, how are you? Bye. Oh, you're over there, sorry. Uh, Oscar, the story about the bathroom being decorated and the cat having the kittens, I want to hear about it. Um, we were decorating the bathroom and my cat had some kittens. There you go, that was the story, fantastic. Oh no, there's more. And um, it went, one of the cats just went and took three kittens and hid them underneath the floorboards, underneath the bath. Oh. So it took us about six weeks, we had to cut a hole in the floor to get them out. Really? Oh. Now Martina and Millie would love that because they have cats called Poppet and Pinfold. Hey, what's your cat called? Archie. Archer. Okay, take them away. Lord Archer and Co. Everybody ready for the next game? The last game, in fact, ahead of the Fine Cart Grand Prix. It's a fine game because it takes place at the oil refinery. <laughs> now, you know what?
it's like if you ever get any oil on your clothes, you know, stuff like this. Yeah, you see, yeah, it's horrible because your mum goes absolutely mad if you've been on your bike and you get oil on your clothes. She'll be okay today. She won't mind. As long as you're our fine contestants because um, it's allowed to get dirty here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Our oil barons are girls. Their job is to um, basically make sure that the boys, who are the oil drums, get very, very messy. How will the boys do that? Well, in this game, which is called All Bunged Up, and you'll see why, they have to go up here and then down the other side but grabbing bungs as they go and then putting them in their containers. So if you want to make your way now, please, to the middle each, so it's fair and square, because we'll crisscross over. In this key game, we'll meet in the middle, but also watch out, because, well, I'll be. I can't believe it. There they are. The oil refined workers at the top, they'll be fine as well, because they will make a guaranteed mess with an oil burst. So there could be all sorts of oil happening. And also, the girls will tip little buckets every oil on the boy to make sure they slide along. So, on your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Officially still the messiest game show on television, Fun House, and now you see why. That final slide, Martina. I know. You went, ah! I thought Australia Fantastic. Was okay. Go to me. Martina? Okay, we managed to get one, two, three! Yay! Yeah! And what about you, Reds? How many for you? Right, we managed to get one, two, three! Sounds fair to me. I'll be giving the points in just a second. Let's rerun the fun. <laughs> okay, we'll make that 25 points apiece. Congratulations to you. And, um, well, basically, I think you were a barrel of laughs. Well done. <laughs> Barrel lost for me anyway. I didn't have to get Gunji. Here's the question. It's for the girls. Are you ready? Stand by. Hit the light, make the sound, and get it right. 25 points. Who was Olive Oil's boyfriend? <laughs> Reds. Popeye. Popeye is right. 25 points. Well yeah! So now we have 50 for the yellows. The Reds well ahead with 150. Yeah! And guess what? The Fun Car Grand Prix is next. Yeah! 